welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at our second leak detector in as many months. The last was the SwitchBot leak detector, links in the pop-up above, and this time it's the SNZB05P leak detector from Sonoff. The two devices have the same functionality but go about it very differently. Now although leak detectors are not as interesting as motion sensors or some more innovative sensors, they are vital to a successful smart home. Previously I'd called them the airbags of the smart home sensors, but I'd go further. They actively save you money and pay for themselves. Many insurance companies will actually reduce your premiums if you have active leak detection in place. Now that's great value. So let's see who this leak detector is aimed at and see if it lives up to the marketing claims. The SNZB05P aims to give you flexibility with its detection modes. When placed with the detector probes facing upwards, it will detect drops from above, which is ideal for when leaks come from a specific pipe or joint. But thanks to its innovative design, it can be inverted to allow it to detect when there is water below the sensor and in both orientations it can detect with as little as 0.5 millimeters of liquid. So nothing new here I hear you say. But then comes the SNZB05P party piece. The unit comes with what looks to be an Apple Watch charger on the end of a 2 meter braided cable with a USB cable at the other end. So you will be forgiven to think that this was a charger for the unit, but no. This is a cable that extends the water leak detection to anywhere along the cable and uses the puck connector to connect the unit to the water detection probes via a magnetic connection. Better still, the puck has a USB plug on it, so you can daisy chain these puck cables together to create a line of water detection, or wrap them around a pipe, or snake into areas where other detectors simply would not work. Now Sonoff claimed there is no limit to the number of units that could be daisy chained together, but I wasn't able to test this as I only have one such cable. Also that in high humidity environments this might cause false triggers, but I didn't have any such problem. And if you want some bling in your sensors, the probe for the sensors are gold plated to give the probes corrosion resistance. So for those of you that are thinking of using this device in a corrosive environment such as a home by the sea or a boat then you should not have any corroded probes. And as this is a water leak detector and at some point might be submerged, although hopefully not, it is IP67 waterproof rated, so it will survive once the waters abate. Likewise, the unit is made from UV resistant material, so it will not yellow and discolor from direct sunlight. Now if you're going to be depending on these sensors to be connected 100% of the time and offer excellent range, then you're going to need Zigbee 3.0, and better still to work on the Silicon Labs EFR 32MG22 chipset. And by using this chipset, you'll get the bonus that your battery will last a long time. So the included CR2477 battery will last you a whopping five claimed years. Now this is the simplest unboxing I've ever done. You get the SNZB05P which is 48mm square by 21.6mm high and weighs in at a hefty 45 grams. So it feels solid in the hand and well built from ABS plastic with gold probes on the top of the unit. The unit can be opened by twisting the base in a counterclockwise direction that gives access to the pairing button, although there is a QR code on the side for pairing with the EWI Link application. Then there is a 2 meter detection cable with an Apple Watch charging puck type connector at one end and a USB-C at the other. The cable comes with three mounting clips for securing the cable for optimal detection. The unit can be purchased separately and is known as the WLDC200, links in the description. And finally a multilingual instruction book that will guide you through the installation process. The SNZB05P can be paired with various different hubs or platforms through Zigbee 3.0 protocol. If you want to stay within the Sonoff ecosystem, then this includes the ZB Bridge, the ZB Dongle P, the Ultra, the iHost, and of course the NS Panel Pro range. Outside of this, you can pair with Amazon Alexa, Google Home, along with SmartThings. But most importantly, this can also be paired with Home Assistant using ZHA or Zigbee to MQTT. Pairing in Home Assistant can be done via ZHA or Zigbee to MQTT and is super simple. 
Firstly, to put into pairing mode, remove the back cover by unscrewing counterclockwise and remove the battery tab. The red LED will flash to signify that it is in pairing mode, but if not, then press the pairing button for 5 seconds and release, and the red LED will flash signifying that it is in pairing mode. To pair with Zigbee to MQTT, press the Zigbee to MQTT in the left hand menu. Press permit to join in the top menu. Once paired, we see a picture of the SNZB05 with the manufacturer and model correctly displayed. Selecting the device, we can see the device is officially supported plus other information about the device. Now select the exposes in the top menu. You can see the entities exposed are the battery level which accurately represents the current state of charge and a leak entity which shows clear for no leaks and leaking for when water has been detected plus the usual battery low and link quality entities. Now let's pair it through ZAJ. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Press the blue Add Integration in the bottom right hand corner. Press Add Zigbee Device. Now if you tried through Zigbee to MQTT and need to put the device back into pairing mode, press and hold the pairing mode button inside the unit for 5 seconds and then release. The red LED will start to flash. The device will show quickly and complete its pairing. Optionally give it an area. Now go into the ZHA integration and search for your device. We can see that we have one sensor exposed for moisture which has values of wet or dry plus the usual configuration and diagnostic entities. There is not much difference between the entities exposed between ZHA and Zigbee to MQTT nor the speed of detection. So select your Zigbee integration method based on your preferences and incumbent integration. When testing with the probes up, it takes a few drops of water to be able to close the circuit for the sensor to turn to wet, but the response times once closed were virtually instant. Likewise, when testing the device inverted, the amount of water that is needed to trigger the sensor can be more than other sensors. When using the detection cable, you get the same instant response along the full 2 meters. Remember you can daisy chain these as many times as you like, so you have great flexibility for different sensing configurations. The issue here is that once the braided cable gets wet, it needs time to dry to be able to change its state back to dry. I tested this in 24 degrees in 50% humidity and it took over an hour to dry enough for the state to change back to dry. The other issue is that this is a Brady cable. Getting it to lay flat was a real challenge, even when using the included clips. So this is more useful when wrapped around a pipe or held in place with weights. So the Sonoff SN ZB05P, what do I think? To start with, the device has excellent build quality and with a 5 year battery life, UV resistant and with gold plated corrosive resistant probes, this device is going to last. The innovation of using the detection cable is great to see and the fact that you can daisy chain these makes it a very flexible link detector. On the other hand, the large distance between the probes makes it need more water than other link detectors. The detection cable has a very slow cooldown period due to it having to dry out, but if something is going to leak, it doesn't tend to stop quickly, so this should not be an issue. And then there is the difficulty in laying the cable completely flat, makes it hard to recommend this for the average consumer. Compare this with the SwitchBot leak detector, link in the pop-up above, that have probes on top and bottom and are very close to trigger at literally one drop of water makes that a much more compelling device for common use. But if you have a specialized leak detection requirement, then this is still a great choice. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want to have access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if I've helped you make a purchasing decision, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.